this video is my personal opinion, so feel free to express your own in the comment section below. Hey what's up guys, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. Now you all know that I hate the MPM Bumblebee from the movie Bumblebee. Actually I hate the both of Bumblebees in movie Masterpiece version. So I have been looking for a substitute for my collection for the uh, MPM Bumblebee that I have at the moment. Especially the one that from the movie Bumblebee because we have MPM Optimus Bumblebee version coming. So in today's video, actually in today's checking with Tonton, -ton, I'm gonna tell you uh, my opinion about the TCO2 Beetle, which is the MPM Bumblebee of Transcraft, which in my opinion is the best Transformer masterpiece movie of Bumblebee by far. So you all know the categories. First, this is going to be the scale of the vehicle, then the colors of the vehicle, and then the difficulty in transformation and then the accuracy in transformation comparing to the movies and then the scaling of the, the robot body and then the color of the robot and then the material which is for plastic or have some die cast here and there and then we have the articulation and then we have the accessories and finally we have is the price so now let's begin so now for the scale of the vehicle i must say that i am absolutely impressed with this right here because we all know that the npm has the best scaling matches for the uh, vehicle mode so i'm gonna say that this vehicle here is the exact same size to the npm version which is really impressive considering the transformation and the size and everything and just look at the vehicle i think it is it looks really nice really nicely done detail and overall it gives me the feel of this is like an official transformer figures unlike third parties or anything like that so about the scaling of the vehicle i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 absolutely impressive now moving on to the colors, which is the second category. So what do we have here? We have a bright yellow Volkswagen Beetle with some shading underneath to mimic dirt and off-road, which is movie accurate right there because I enjoy this kind of realistic details. Because if you remember in Bumblebees, he actually going to off-road with Charlie and he kind of looks dirty in those scenes. So that is really impressive. So for this, a 10 out of 10. Then again, here we have the difficulty in transformation so after transforming this guy i got a feel that it is not that hard for such a figures like this so the thing is that when i first transformed this guy uh, actually when i first saw this guy i thought that he's going to be a really hard piece to transform because of the levels of details and engineering and etc but when i i got this guy for one a week i got this guy for a week now and in my opinion he abs he looks absolutely impressive with all the transformation steps i transformed him a few times and all i can say is that once you get used to it that is really satisfying so this is a 9 out of 10 then again here we have the accuracy of transformation so i must say that the accuracy of transformation is really nice here you got less kibble than you would expect it and amount of fake parts they're using is down to a minimum so overall i got really impressive with the way of transforming this guy i mean like the parts in the vehicle mode is actually fold in really nicely and you like hardly get any fake parts except for the chest section over there Overall, I'm really impressed with this guy. So for the accuracy transformation, it's about an 8. Because like I have said, it's still using some fake parts, but that is it. So facing transforming this guy, what do we got? We got a really nicely detailed finish. Bumblebee from the movie Bumblebee. The scaling of the body looks absolutely spot on. So for this, I'm going to bring in the NPM versions. So you'll see, side by side, the NPM version looks like trash to me now. I'm sorry. But that is the truth because when you look at bumblebees from the travis knight version what do you feel you gotta feel a somewhat of a very muscular strong robot instead of the warrior aesthetics like from michael bay's version so the transcript this beetle has done is just this but for bumblebee from takara hasbro to be honest with you guys i feel like he's stuck between here and there like they don't know what to do with the figures so we end up having a half bill cable mess bumblebee so in my opinion, the skin of the body here is absolutely spot on and it also deserves a 10 out of 10. <laughs> now jump to the next category, which will be the colors. This is where I'm really impressed. We all know from the Michael Bay version is that in the vehicle mode, the alternate mode, the transformer always looks really nice and the only thing they got into them in some scenario is dirt. But when they transform, they have scratches and face scratch everywhere. 
So this version has done exactly just that. Look at the paint in all this little nice detail over here. It is just absolutely spot on and makes the figures looks and feel really realistic. And for this section over here, I must say this is a absolutely 10 out of 10. Next one, we will have the organizing of the materials. So this figure does have die-cast metal. And I'm gonna point out the die-cast metal are in the chest. The two chest pieces is actually two die-cast pieces. The crotch and then the back section of the leg. For this, I'm quite disappointed. I can understand the chest being die-cast metal. But why the crotch and why the, this back section of the leg? Wouldn't it be better if you just put some die-cast metal at the, in the feet? Or in the joint, wouldn't that be better? So this is quite somewhat of an odd decision in my opinion. So only 6 out of 10. Next up is the articulation. And what can I say? The articulation of this guy is spot on. So I'm gonna actually do like this. I'm gonna give this guy a 10 out of 10 for articulation. I'm gonna prove it to you by posing him exactly like what he posed in the movie. So I'm gonna put the two pictures side by side for you to compare. So this is an absolutely 10 out of 10. Next up, we have the accessories. So we all know that in this movie, Bumblebee only came with a uh, blade and a gun. That is all the accessories. But here's the interesting thing over here. You got two blades. So in the movie, he used his blade for cutting the wire. And that is a uh, single edge blade. But for some of all the other toys variant, like from the NPM and the Studio Series, they give him a double edge blade so this version gives us both blades which is really interesting really nice and also you got the basic gun and other than that you got a completely new head this is the battle mask head so in order to have him having the battle mask you have to actually remove the head and replace it so they know that by replacing it too much they're gonna weaken the joint of the neck so here's the nice thing and it is a small detail but it shows that you see really cares about the collectors so they actually gave the, the alternate head uh, some articulation, some joint. So when you transform it, it can be flattened out a little bit. So you can transform it and also leave the battle mask on. This is an absolutely 10 out of 10. And finally, it's the price. So by the time of this recording, I find the price for this guy on the internet is $129. And comparing to another, the MPM Bumblebee, on Amazon. So the price for Bumblebee on Amazon is actually $101. So I mean like what would you choose? And maybe this the price will go up in the future but for now I'm happy to spend an, an extra 28 bucks to get this guy in 70 Bumblebee. And so for that price it is an absolutely 10 out of 10 because of the amount of articulation and everything. This is an absolutely must have in your collections if you are looking to collect and complete your Bumblebee spin-off line. I mean like I'm still looking for Shadow and Dropkick but that is for the future but for now if you are hesitating like which versions you are should you choose because the MPM 12 is coming I'm definitely gonna recommend the TC02 rather than the MPM from Sakura and Hasbro so that is for the point and so we have this guy point is a must buy rank of 93 out of 100 so that is it you're gonna get this one if you like I said you are looking for what to collect and complete with your npm 12 so that it is for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it tell me what you think in the comment section below and if you're new to the channel subscribe and give this video a like and tell me what you think in the comment section and also follow me on instagram that is where i do most of my updates and if you feel like you can help me out with some future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link is in the description below Tonton out